There we go. There, lions. Ears pricked, all facing forward. Those wildebeest are close. Very, very close. How exciting is this? Now, they've got a lot of tree cover. Let's see what they're going to do. Now, I'm not actually sure about all the lion prides just yet. I do see another car going around. I wonder if we can loop around on that road like they are. But let's just sit here for now. All right, I just want to say a big good morning to everybody watching Nat Geo Kids. It's great to have you on board. We're sitting with a pride of lions. I don't know how many lions are here. The grass is very long. They blend in to the vegetation, of course, uh, very nicely. But you can see there are some prey species right there. And that was another safari vehicle. I don't know if they have maybe had enough of the lions, but they've moved on. Their ears are pricked up. They are definitely looking hungry. That behavior is not a sleeping lion. This is going to be very, very exciting. Now, it doesn't seem like those wildebeest are even aware that those lions are there. Perhaps those lions have got the wind in their favor. And of course, look at all that thick vegetation. The wildebeest heads are down on the ground. Are we going to see a kill this morning? I think we could. And what will normally happen, what these lions will want to do, is they want the wildebeest to run around in a frenzy because panic is good for a lion, especially when you're chasing after animals. Just one mistake, and then that'll be it, of course, for the lions. I think we can go around, but it's quite a big loop, unfortunately. Maybe we, let's just hold our ground for just for the moment. There's lots of vehicles moving out in and about, and one thing we, we want to make sure that these lions have the best opportunity to catch their breakfast, that they're edging, slowly edging closer. What they might also be doing, uh, we've got to just wait and see what tactic they're going to go for. Lions are very, very intelligent, and they're very good problem solvers, and it's why they're one of the most successful cats out in Africa, because they work in a team they don't just hunt on their own they can they most certainly can do that but well two heads are better than one and it seems as though we've got three lionesses that's what i was able to make out for the moment so we just need one of those wildebeest to come a couple of meters closer towards them and perhaps they will make their move then but isn't this so exciting? Now, these are the white-bearded gnu. These are the big gnus that um, travel, well, many, many kilometers in search of new water and search of green pastures. And, the, of course, all the predators just follow them around. And there is no shortage of prey around here. They can go for zebra. There's topi, which is a type of an antelope species. Uh, it's honestly, it is absolutely endless. How exciting is this? Now, a hunt doesn't necessarily happen within a couple of seconds. Uh, here, it's a little bit easier for them, I must be honest. Down in South Africa, I think the hunting for them is slightly more difficult, and it takes a lot more planning. Like I said, if they start to scatter and stampede, one is going to make a mistake and run straight towards them, and that's exactly what they want the wildebeest to do. The lions don't want to have to run for very far. They don't have a lot of energy. Of course, they have a lot of stamina. They've only got enough speed for sort of short bursts. So ideally, they want to get as close as they can to their prey for the best opportunity to catch it. They're not the greatest hunters. And it's like that with all the predators. It does take them a little bit of time. But you can see the wildebeest, the lions, they don't mind the cars moving in and out. But I think we've got a good spot here. Because I think we'll be able to see what happens from this distance. Like I said, we're a little bit far away. Sometimes it's not a bad thing to sit and watch and observe. And if they do catch us, wildebeest, we can race across and, uh, well, and hopefully get a closer view. But let's see what happens in this area. You can see there's a zebra now also coming through. A couple of zebra. Who knows? Maybe they decide not to go for a wildebeest. Maybe they decide to go for something with stripes instead. And I think the Ngama pride is quite a large pride, if I'm not mistaken. They've got a couple of cubs, so they need to catch something large. And a wildebeest and a zebra would do. A buffalo would be even better. But when there's an abundance of wildebeest like this and zebra, why go for something like a buffalo? 
Hello, Mike. Now, you've said this is amazing that it's happening right now. Isn't that incredible? And if you'd like to ask a question like Mike just has, please, I'd love to hear from you. You can comment away because we're in the Mara Triangle. There, one lioness goes. Is it, is it or is it a youngster? They see they're running. They're not sure. I didn't see where the others went. Getting closer, waiting. See, going down. Oh, wildebeest are jumping. No. What's going to happen now? What they can do sometimes is one will run on the left and encourage the animals to start moving and the others could have moved off into a better position, waiting for those wildebeest. See, they can see one lioness still. Maybe that's what's happening here. I wonder if that's actually not one of the youngsters. It doesn't look particularly large. It also got a very big belly. So you can see these lions are well fed, but when there's food around, they're not going to say no. Yeah, the wildebeest alarming. They're telling everybody, lions, lions, everybody, careful, careful, lions. But that won't stop these lions, though. There's lots of young wildebeest in and amongst the middle. If they can't go for an adult, a young wildebeest that's not experienced might panic even more and get lost from mom's side. This is incredible. Like I said, it's live. It's happening right now. I have the privilege of sitting here with this pride of lions, all these wildebeest and their zebra, and hopefully... We're going to see an attempted hunt here. I wonder if this is not a youngster. It's a bit difficult to see we're so far away, and maybe it's inexperience and uh, compelled it to jump forward too soon. And that's what happens when these lions are learning, because they don't start hunting straight away. It does take them quite a bit of time. And unfortunately, younger lions can actually end up ruining it for the adults. So they've got to be very, very patient too. Well, I'm just quickly checking to see where the others are. Because that does look like a youngster. See there, that, that one looks slightly bigger. There's a couple of them there. This is so exciting. There's a, there's a whole lot coming. There's actually, I'm not like there's a whole bunch of lions here. Now, Lola, a question from you, wondering if lions only hunt at breakfast time. Well, Lola, any time is breakfast time, dinner or lunch for a lion. It just depends on, of course, uh, what prey is around. And, and this is what's happening at the moment. It is these lions are getting in amongst the the prey species they will sit and go you know during the heat of the day they might go to sleep and relax but they uh, and then they'll wait for the herds to sort of forget about them and move closer they definitely look like they want something i think that they unfortunately that younger line that we saw maybe just un messed it up you see yeah that's another youngster there on the left and that's an adult on the right so quite a few juveniles so that's the problem here and that's the, the issue that these adults are going to face, is that you can see how excited those youngsters are. You can imagine, you know what it's like if you have a kitten at home and you dangle a piece of string in, in front of their faces, they just can't get enough of it. They can't stop swiping away. They're so excited. It's exactly the same thing with these lines. But that piece of string, of course, is, uh, well, in the form of wildebeest and zebra. Now, you can see a lot of cars over here. They're very excited people who have traveled from across the world coming to the Mara Triangle. So we're in Kenya at the moment, and, and that's what they're doing. They're also watching this exciting, uh, well, all this excitement unfold. And like I said, it might not happen right away. It could take ages. They could constantly get up those youngsters, could keep chasing the zebra and the wildebeest around. But until one of those adults make a move, then we'll see. And they can run so quickly, these lions. The charging speed of a lion is 22 meters per second. That is quick. Before you blink your eye, a lion would be at your feet or at the hooves of a zebra or even the wildebeest. Isn't this so cool? Well, this is my first time in the Mara in Kenya. So this is all real new for me. I'm jumping for joy. Uh, it's South Africa is obviously very, very different. We don't get the large game concentrations like this. So at this time of the year when the animals are moving around, uh, constantly looking, following the reins, really, it's, it, it, there's just action everywhere you look. You drive. There's animals on the left, on the right. There's some wildebeest running. What's happening there? Maybe there's a lion, a young lion that's come through. They're panicking. 
Rishi, hello to you. Wondering if lions prefer wildebeest over zebra. Lions are not picky creatures. Uh, they will take whatever they can get. Obviously, in this area, there's an abundance of prey, uh, so they could go for anything. So even if there were a couple of topi or Thompson's gazelle or Grant's gazelle in the mix uh, with the zebra and the wildebeest, whoever made the mistake and came too close, that's the one they're going to go for. They also, those lions are scanning for a weak individual. For young, obviously, they'll be much easier to take down than a, a, a healthy adult wildebeest or a zebra. So they're very, like I said, they're so intelligent and they're watching. And that's why hunts don't necessarily happen so quickly is because once they do a big dash, if, uh, if they run 100 meters at full tilt, they're going to be exhausted. They might not have enough stamina to make a second attempt. So they might have to rest a little bit and then try again a bit later. That's also not a problem, though. Like I said, these herbivores are constantly being surrounded by predators that they sometimes they become a little bit blasé about them put their heads down and carry on eating and completely forget that the lion's about or the herds that have seen the lions move right out of the area and the next set come through. You can see that lot at the back have obviously been warned that there are lions here and they're not going to come this side. They're going to try and avoid the spot. And that's what we look for as we're driving around and we're finding these big herds of animals. We we're looking in the empty spaces between the herds because that's typically where you're going to find maybe resting lions or resting cheetah. They're waiting. They're sitting. They're not ready yet. Like I said, they look well fed, so I wouldn't be surprised if they caught something last night. But it seems to be quite a big pride, and when you have got youngsters, they're constantly feeding. They don't look like they'll be suckling anymore. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how old they are. They definitely look over a year. So they'll start participating in the hunts, but mostly observing. And when they get to about a year and a half, two years old, that's when they'll really be a part of the hunts. So the adults will do the hard work in terms of grabbing uh, whatever prey item they manage to get. And then you'll find the youngsters will come running in and then they'll learn the suffocating techniques. And, and they'll just sort of help hold the animal down. At the moment, they're sort of a little bit useless. And like I said, they cause problems for the adults. But it's very, very important. They have to come in. They have to see this. Otherwise, they're never going to be able to hunt for themselves. Now, we just linked away.